it's impossible to say that there's one perfect running technique because obviously there's a lot of variation and nobody completely agrees on what's the right way to run. But I think there's a few basic elements of running form that um, that shouldn't be controversial. And I, I think the most important is not to overstride. To me, biomechanically, an overstride is when your ankle lands in front of your knee. So if you land with an overstride, that means that your, your knee is extended, you land to the ground, you hit hard, there's a big impact peak that causes a shock wave to travel up your body. Um, that ain't good for your ankles, it's not good for your knees, it's not good for, your, for the rest of your body. It's clearly a bad way to run in terms of uh, impact, but also it breaks you. It, it causes a big deceleration of your body and then you have to work harder to, to push yourself forward. So there's nothing good about overstriding and no good runners overstride. Second, if you're not going to overstride, you're going to land, it's a question of how you land. I think a lot of people worry too much about how they land. You know, I, I, the, I think one of the big problems is people say, oh, I should forefoot strike because they read about forefoot striking. So then they overstride and land like a ballerina with their feet high up on their toes. That's very stressful on your ankles, on your calf muscles, on your Achilles tendon. That's bad. But equally, if you're going to heel strike, and there are people who heel strike and get away with it, the worst thing you can do is land really hard on your heel very with, a, with your toes pointing up towards the moon. So I think what really matters is to land pretty close to flat. You know, um, people call it a midfoot strike. A few people actually midfoot strike, but that's fine. If you land close to flat, either a forefoot strike or a rear foot strike, you can be, that's much better than a very pronounced rear foot strike or a very pronounced forefoot strike. Related to that would be stride rate. Everybody runs slightly better and more efficiently at a higher stride rate. Some people say 180 steps per minute. Research we're doing in the lab suggests that somewhere between 170 and 180 is optimal for most people, but there's no magical number. Uh, it varies from person to person, but that again keeps your stride stride short um, and keeps you nice and springy. Um, and then finally, I would argue that posture is pretty important because um, if you lean a lot, um, that puts big angular torques on your upper body, and that means every time you hit the ground, your upper body wants to fall forward, and that's just more stressful for your gluteus maximus, for your back muscles. Uh, there's nothing good that comes from leaning, so having a pretty good posture uh, will help you run. So. Uh, beyond that, there, oh, and finally, I guess probably um, having relaxed upper body. I mean, you just don't want to be clenched up. That just wasted effort uh, causes problems. So be relaxed. Don't overstride. Keep up a high cadence. Don't lean too much. Try to land flat. It'll be fine. At least that's what we think. <laughs>